All right, this is going to be a quick little GIMP tutorial. And uh, this is going to be my first tutorial actually using Unity. I just want to see if I can actually, uh, you know, if it gets in the way or not. But anyways, um, what I'm going to be doing today is pretty much trying to achieve that vintage look. There's tons of videos that like this on, on YouTube already. And, um, you know, each person has their own little, I guess, uh, interpretation of that look, right? Some people use a lot of pinks and blues. Some people use more of a yellowy look or desaturated or overcolored, like a technicolor look. So there's a lot of different styles of that of that look. So I'm probably gonna make some more videos, um, you know, doing that particular styles, I guess, different ways. I'm just gonna do a real basic one today. So, anyways, so we're gonna use uh, Juno today for this uh, tutorial. And the reason why I chose that picture is basically because of the background. Um, I didn't see any like. Uh, any modern automobiles or or new buildings or anything like that so we're just gonna use that picture today all right come on there it goes I'm going to maximize it and hopefully that launcher doesn't get in the way okay so here she is so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this layer a couple times. Uh, the back one, I mean this bottom one is for me, just for like a before and after. Uh, but you are gonna need two. So we're gonna work with the top layer. Let's go to uh, colors, levels. We're gonna brighten up the image. So we're gonna slide it to the left. Right about there. Press okay. Now we're gonna go to colors, curves. All right, now, not on value, but on red. Right about here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And let's lower the red just a hair. Bring that down. And this section down just a bit. And this one up just a hair. Not too much. Kind of like a curve in a way. Uh, depending on your photograph or how much red's actually in it, you might wanna play with it a little bit more. Usually I kind of go for an over contrasted face just by using colors. Go with green. Click on the center. Bring this down just a little bit. There we go. Go up just there. There we go. That looks a little better. Now let's go to blue. Click the center again. Raise that up a hair, right about there. Go down. Bring that down. That looks about right. A little bit of a, like a flying bird, I guess, you know? So, how's it look overall? I tend to go for like more of a bluey, yellowy look. That looks good. Okay, let's leave it like that. Now let's go back to our value. Click here and click right around there and just pull the center down. Right about there looks all right. Okay, that's enough. Press OK. So we're going to add a little bit of a little bit of grain to the image because it's it's a little you know it's a modern picture so. We'll do that next. So make a transparent layer. Press OK. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. On the transparent layer, we're going to select the color of gray. So get your bucket fill tool. Select the color. Like a, mm, like a medium gray. That's my color code. Press OK. Fill it in. We're going to go to two filters, noise, RGB noise. Uncheck this independent. Raise the alpha quite a bit. Raise that more or less about right there. Press OK. Now, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I usually separate this a little bit. Horizontal about one, vertical about three to two. There we go. 
kind of gives it just a little bit of an offset right okay so now set that to a soft light now we have a little bit of a of a grain not too much now let me zoom back out another transparent layer press ok get your ellipse tool try to frame the image of the, of the person face torso I mean like well the body the upper portion the, well it depends on what you're on what you're using so right about there all right now select invert select feather raise it a few hundred depending on the size of your of your picture this one I, I believe it's uh, 16 16,000 pixels I mean 1600 so I'll go with like 200 almost 200 press OK alright oh it's not 1600 it's uh, right here 10,073 by 800 okay so we're gonna fill in the the uh, section around her instead of using black Right, we're just gonna use the standard gray because the image is already kind of dark to begin with. So I'm gonna use the gray that I that I used already, the same color code. There we go. Select none. Set that to a soft light. All right. Now we're gonna duplicate it. Just the hair. There we go. Now, what you need to do. is uh, we gonna check the bottom layer because remember this layer up here is the modified layer so we're gonna check this one right here the base layer right here now right click up here merge visible layers merge it all right now recheck the eyeball on this top layer we're gonna go soft light now kind of brings that image back right the details all right now right click on it again merge visible layers press ok now we're going to do the whole thing with the curves again filters I'm sorry colors curves red bring it down just a bit not too much green just a little bit right about there looks good blue raise it up just a hair down just a hair in the center probably to give more of a yellow look that looks about right now let's go to value and this is up to you if you want to do this or not can raise it up to brighten it or lower it down to darken it. Maybe brighten it just a hair. Press OK. And that looks that looks pretty good. Now, for me, that I'm, I'm done. I think that looks great. Okay, that's the that's the look I was trying to achieve. Right, not too not too pinkish or blues. Right, a little bit over contrasted with a little bit of a grain and a vignette right so okay this is the before I'm sorry this is the this is the after and this was the before alright so that's before after before and after so I'm pretty happy with it so I'm going to save it file save as you just take off a number here so I won't override save export raise the quality it's done minimize it so I mean we got the trash so here's uh, the final result I guess and there's a before and there's after before and after so anyways um, that's kind of like how I do it all right I'm gonna make some more videos on the other ways like the kind of like the over exaggeration of it you know like because what I've noticed like there's like a lot of uh, 
like retro styles now with these older with these modern photographs. It's kind of like an art form of uh, art form of its own, I guess. You know, they put a lot of grain into it and, and like uh, like blurs and stuff like that. It's it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. So I'm gonna do some more videos about that later on. This is just the basic of it. So, anyways, see you guys later.